Hello, my name is Ilona and I want to continue to talk about why are people not waking up? So this is kind of a part two and I want to talk about questions people asked about my video and uh, I want to thank everyone for all the reactions I got. I'm very happy that uh, a lot of people actually got what I was talking about, which is very important because it's very difficult to talk about things like that. There's still this do not touch the parents of someone. Most people are very defensive when you get to the parents part and especially how they were brought up. Some people are like, well, yeah, I had a tough upbringing, but uh, hey, I'm fine. Look at me, I'm doing fine. And usually when you talk about them, there are still a lot of problems going on. So people don't want to talk about those things. But my point was that a lot of people, not everyone, but a lot of people just do not want to wake up remain in this mindset that they have to follow orders because that's the way they were brought up. It's kind of like they're transferring this parental authority onto the government. So they cannot say no to their parents, they cannot say no to the government and they cannot question them. That's a form of upbringing. But you have to understand that these people are completely unaware that they're doing this. That's why they're reacting just on the pattern themselves. They don't even understand that they can choose something else. That takes awareness. So it's very important to understand that why are people not waking up and why are people waking up is awareness. That's the key. So I want to continue talking about that. But first of all, I also want to talk about another group of people. Someone asked me, well, in my family, I am awake. Uh, and, but my other siblings aren't. They did get the wasp sting. And my siblings do understand that our upbringing wasn't good, but they're still following along. Why is that? They do understand that the government isn't always right, but they do follow regulations. Well, that's an interesting thing. But like I've mentioned, I was speaking about one group of people that do not want to hear anything wrong with the government of what's going on. When of course you have also have a group of people that were raised, they understand that their upbringing wasn't ideal, but they still in the end follow the regulations. Why is that? Well, most likely they were raised and I'm not blaming anyone here. This is generational. It's about patterns. If you understand the pattern, and see it, you can start healing inside of yourself. That's the most important part here. But then usually these people are raised by parents that are aware that their upbringing wasn't good. You know, they can complain about it, feel the victim, but ultimately they never do anything about it. They never look inside themselves. They're never going to heal the patterns. They just remain in this victimhood or very angry or very sad or maybe all kinds of ways that can, how you say that, you can see that with people. Some people will turn inside the pain, so they will get depressed, uh, maybe even mental problems. Other people will project it outside. They can get very angry or just very emotional. So you have all these mood swings. It's all a possibility of dealing with these things. So the children that grow up with parents that remain in this complain uh, modus and are not able to step out of it will grow up, see that things are wrong, but aren't capable of handling it or changing it because they don't know how to take responsibility because their parents didn't take any responsibility. Of course, the grandparents and the great grandparents, it's like a pattern. A lot of people do not know how to handle their own emotions, their own feelings. We weren't taught, and I believe that's a very conscious decision to make us more malleable, so we wouldn't be able to uh, really step into our powers. So we do not know how to handle those things, and that's the best way to manipulate us with our emotions, with our feelings, with keeping us in a low vibration. You have to understand that as well. But if we want to get out of it, we need to look at the core. We need to start focusing on ourselves. How can we heal ourselves? If we can heal ourselves from the pain that we've encountered growing up, we will start healing around us because our energies will be raised and that will change everything around us. You have to understand 
that I am aware that a lot of things have happened because of the dark energies and they've kept us in a low frequency, but we cannot get out if we keep blaming them for that. We have to step into our own power and we can only do that by looking at the pain that we still carry in ourselves, looking at our shadow, looking at how we are raised and if it's still... If you are raised in a very loving family with a lot of respect, then you will have a very loving life and very respectful people around you. So, of course, then you don't have to look at all these patterns because it is in ultimately in your favor. But if you see in your life some things aren't working out, some relationship aren't working out, it's very important to look at a relationship you've had with your parents or how you were raised most of the time if not all of the time it's really you can really link to that and that will give you a chance to change that if you start changing your energies you change everything that's why it's so important to really well let's face it the only thing we can really change is ourselves if we keep uh, giving away our power like all these dark energies are, are doing all these things and and it's so tough to do anything about it we remain in this victimhood we're not going to get out so in this case with the question someone asked about their siblings that they did see that things weren't right but they did still get the wasp sting or they still followed all the rules is because they do not know how to take responsibility. So they do not want to take responsibility actually going against what's being told. So that's another group. And then of course you have all these variances in there, but I like to continue to talk, because that's of course very interesting. Why are some people waking up? Because I have it in my own family, I have a brother, and I was raised with the same parents, obviously, and my uncle, I already explained that. And he was raised the same way as I was, but he actually got his uh, fourth warps, wasp sting, if I'm not mistaken. So we are like opposites. Well, first of all, it has to do with character, of course. I am a completely different person than he is. I've always been more aware. So the people that are waking up, there are a lot of people that reincarnated in this time from Atlantis, older souls, uh, off world, other dimensions, star seeds. They have a different awareness. So that's already starting to show at a very young age. So a lot of people were already at a young age looking at this like, yeah, I'm not going to continue with this, what everyone else is doing in my family. I don't like this very much. So it has to do with awareness. That has to do with your soul and your soul contract. So you do have a lot of people coming in, completely different awareness, but it's up, of course, up to us, up to the people that have a certain awareness to do something with it. Because I do... Uh, notice in the spiritual world there are people that are very aware but are still following the rules because they haven't cleared up the patterns the way they were brought up it's very important to understand that so the people that are waking up and the difference between siblings could be that you have a completely different energy so you were brought in you do um choose your parents so you do have things you want to work out there otherwise you will not be if the energy is very off you're not going to be in that family so you've picked a certain family so you can go through your uh you still had to clear up very quickly especially with your awareness and of course you'll be very different from your siblings because other siblings may not have that awareness and then they will follow the pattern that they were taught. They are not aware of looking at themselves. So that's a big difference. People that are really aware. And I have to say, uh, important that there is a difference between being awake and being aware. I do see a lot of people also in the people, how to say that, in the community that are awake, that know in everything they know they can connect all the dots they've got all the facts they've got it all lined up they know exactly what's going to happen they know all about klaus and the bloodlines and everything else but they are not aware of themselves they do not look at their own uh, negativity sometimes they do not uh, how do you say that deal with their shadow 
They just want to keep that aside. They don't think it's important. They don't think the spiritual side is important. Why this, this is a spiritual war. This is about energy and frequency. That's really ultimately what this is about. They do understand that concept, but they are, it's, it's like they cannot place it onto themselves that they are frequencies and they are awareness and they probably will look at me like well you're always about the spiritual stuff and come on and get real and things like that i understand that but to me that is not aware that is awake and you have people that just started in how do you say that seeing that things aren't correct or aren't right so people are just slowly waking up and some people, like I said, are aware, and that's the most important thing. If you are aware and starting to really see the effect of things around you on yourself, if you really dare to look, because it takes courage to look at yourself, to look at your shadow, to really work with that, then of course you're going to change, you're going to be different. And I was raised in a family, well, I love my family, but like I said, my brother is not that aware, not aware of himself. He, of course, there are some things I can talk to him about and he will agree with. But ultimately, the most important things like the real spiritual side, it's, it's almost like he just to a certain level, he's right with it. But as soon as it starts looking at himself or changing something about himself, it stops. And a lot of people have that because changing things in, inside yourself especially be patterns that just aren't good for you and it, it seems so easy like of course you want to change patterns that aren't good for you of course you want to do that but there is pain attached to that you didn't um, create those patterns or at least usually the patterns are given to you but everyone has their own personal way of dealing with it like i've said before i started dealing with things by eating away my problems other people will have maybe other addictions or workaholic things like that there are many ways to deal with those things and it's it's not a good thing and i'm i'm working on it it's it's actually very how do you say that right now it's it's getting better and better and better for me but that's because I'm starting to deal with the pain behind it, the fear, the uh, sadness behind it. You have to understand those, those mechanisms, those negative patterns are there for a reason. They're there to protect you. They're like coping mechanisms. So if you start working with that, a lot of pain can come up. Usually it happens at a very young age. You start to develop those things or start at least beginning to develop them. And usually you stay stuck emotionally at that time so when all the pain comes up it feels like you're a child again like you can't even think rational anymore you're, you're like overwhelmed by that pain at that time and then it's so important to kind of step back and understand okay i am the adult now i can just feel that pain i don't have to be afraid that it's going to overwhelm me so you have to understand that if you start working with that that's frightening that's tough and you sometimes feel like you're at the beginning and you're like oh i have such a long way to go which is of course not the case but it can sometimes feel very disappointing when something comes up and you're like oh i have to do this again and that's basically a problem a lot of people don't want to take responsibility for that they don't want to take responsibility for their own pain for their own fear for their own anger that's what the dark energies have been doing for so long. They've never taken any responsibility for themselves. That's why they need other people and other energies to work with, to program so they can get their agenda out. So that's very important. I wanted to mention in this uh, video that the difference between siblings is a very easy one, so to speak. First of all, the awareness is different between you and a sibling. They most likely are not that aware. They can still see things, maybe even say things, maybe even uh, understand what you're saying. But ultimately, it is about truly looking inwards. And not a lot of people are aware to, are, how do you say that, prepared to do that because that takes a lot. I have to say, I still struggle with it. <laughs> I know what I'm supposed to do. And of course I'm taking my steps, but it's, it's, 
it's tough. It's not that easy. It's getting better and better, but it still takes a lot because in a way, and I think maybe more have that, you kind of want someone else to do it for you. <laughs> like, oh, come on, can you just take away this pain or please just tell me this or uh, give me the recognition or the understanding or the love that I want, then I'm going to be whole again. It doesn't work that way. We all have to do that for ourselves. And as soon as we start doing that, then we can really bring change into this world. This is about the great awakening. It's about the great awakening of ourselves and being aware of ourselves. I'd like to leave it at this and I hope to see you in another video. Bye.